So what are your thoughts looking ahead to the weekend? Big weekend, really big weekend for us. We can't, uh, we can't look at Sunday's game before Saturday's game. So we're taking it one game at a time. Saturday's, that's gonna be a long bus ride up to uh, Fife, Fife, or uh, Fife, as I understand it right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we watched some video on those guys today, uh, getting mentally ready for that and back on the big ice again. So the game again will change and, and differ, but uh, we take that game first, get those two points, and then we look into uh, Sunday. How fatiguing is that when you have the, the Saturday road game and, and then you come back here Sunday? Yeah, that's a long bus ride, right? So you have to manage that as a professional athlete. It's really important that the last couple of days we're taking care of our bodies, we're getting the right fluids, the right rest, because come Sunday we are going to be tired. But, uh, but then it comes down to playing system hockey, right? They're coming back to our rink. It's a smaller ice. We, uh, we, we can play the trap. We can play our rink to our advantage. And that's really important. Mentally, the fatigue doesn't set in. That's the big part. I mean, physically, we're going to be tired. But mentally, we have to be sharp. We have to be ready and stick to our systems. And if we play that, we're going to, be, uh, we're going to have some success. With that in mind, just how important was the way you played against Sheffield, that last five minutes of the game, the way you came back in? I think that showed what this team's about. The character, the determination, the no, no quit, no give up attitude, mentality that the, the management went after for this summer. You're down 4-1 to a really good, if not one of the best hockey teams in, in this league. And to come back in the third period in front of our fans, that was something special. And we were unfortunate, we, we didn't seal the deal, but we definitely got the point. That's a huge point come the end of the year. So I just like that. As an assistant coach, I love seeing the, the no quit, the, the no give up determination because towards the end of the season when, when games get tight, 2-1, 1-0 games, that way you know the guys are going to put everything on the line and third period, doesn't matter what the score is, we're going to come back and battle right to the end. With a team like Fife coming up, what is it that you work on particularly? Aside that, of course, you, you've not played an awful lot, aside yeah. that, that it's, it's going to be a completely new rink for you as well. Yeah, new rink, new team. Uh, that's exciting, right, for, for some of the guys, a new experience. Going up to Scotland again, which is going to see some new country, which is awesome, all part of it. But Fife is a very fast team. They're very quick. They have uh, they have a lot of speed up front. Um, and we, we've scouted that. And we know kind of their tendencies. So now it's time for us to go out and imply what we do and, and make sure that uh, we're on our game. And I think as, as a player in this league and as a team you can't worry about what other teams do you have to worry about yourself I think that's one thing you can not control you can't control other teams injuries or who they have in the lineup or what they do I think if we go out there and we stick to our game plan and we play the way we can play the Manchester Storm hockey that we brand and we worked on all week then that's what we look forward to and that's what we uh, we have to do on Saturday and a familiar face in their lineup too, not to you, but to the rest of the, the people here at the Storm in Matt Siska. Is yeah. he somebody that can expect special attention? He's, he's somebody that we know, already know scores a lot of goals. Yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely a guy that we've scouted hard and uh, he's, he's a good hockey player. So it uh, doesn't matter if it's Matt Seska or, or whoever in the lineup, right? It just, we're going to go out there and we're going to play them all the same way. So it, uh, you know, it could be Wayne Gretzky over there playing for the the five flyers and uh, we're still going to play them the same way so it doesn't doesn't really matter now that would be some story wouldn't it yeah uh, what about this week you got a bit of rest and relaxation i know you and some of the boys went off to to barcelona yeah. how was it it was amazing and I, that was part of it coming over here you know the whole experience and and uh, coach patch uh, sold us on that coming over and you guys are going to have downtime to be able to travel and we did there was eight of us that went over and it was a really really awesome trip we had beautiful weather Sunshine, 25 degrees there on Monday in Barcelona and had a great Spanish food and some team building away from the rink, which I'm really a big believer in and it's very important, I think. So it was fun. We got back uh, Tuesday night and then it was time to get back to work on uh, Monday, Tuesday, or sorry, Tuesday, or Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then uh, ready for the weekend. But it was a nice way to get away. The highlights of the trip? Of Barcelona? Yeah. Uh, it would be the papaya. Hey, eh? papaya, pepe. Paella? Paella, paella. That's, language is not your thing, eh? No, names and language I struggle <laughs> with, uh, Seth, but I'm really good at a lot of other things, but the, those two are kind of my downfalls. But the food there was unbelievable. The uh, Not a lot of English, which was kind of neat, trying to yeah. speak a little Spanish, which obviously my language I'm not good at, but had a lot of fun trying. And uh, yeah, it was it was beautiful in the weather, I would say. Just get, a, get out, get on the beach, uh, get away from hockey. So it was nice, those were the highlights. And that's the kind of thing you, you can't do as easily if you if you're here that the hockey's still very much a big shadow over whatever you're doing when you when you're at home when you're in the apartment 
Exactly. It's good to, as hockey players, it's a long season, so it's good to shut off hockey for a little bit, take a break, get away from the game. That way I find when you guys come back, they're fresh, they're, they're eager, they, they want to get back on the ice and, and have that energy levels. I think it's really important to keep the energy high, and we had that this week, uh, obviously having the two days off. Wednesday was a little bit sluggish, but we ramped it back up Thursday, Friday. We had a great practice today and ready for the weekend, so the guys were, uh, were enthusiastic, and I love that. You've got some war wounds still on your face. Uh, Sunday night, can that come quick enough for you? Sunday night? I, I mean, it's, like I said, we're going to worry about Saturday first. I want to I wanna focus on Saturday. And, I mean, Sunday, Nottingham, Panthers, that's a rivalry we've started. That was a big game. That was a heavy-hitting, tough, intense, high-scoring game. So I like it. I like the rivalry. I like the compet competitiveness and the compete level. And uh, I know our guys are going to be ready for, for, a, for a battle there on Sunday. And what is it that Nottingham do that you have to be wary of? Uh, they roll four. Then they keep coming. Their four check is really, really aggressive. They, uh, and their power play, their special teams. I'd say those two things we just have to watch and, and keep an eye on, but at the same time just play our game. I, t I said it before, not worry about what they do, but just like, respect it and then uh, implicate what we do for, towards them, and then we're going to be just fine. I'm not worried about uh, one bit.